Hello students. Welcome to my YouTube channel Rapid Chemistry. I am Ranjan Dash here with you on the 5th class of Structure of Atom. In this unit we shall study quantum numbers and their significance and also learn about orbit and orbitals. Before we enter into the main topic I must say motion of various macroscopic objects such as falling fruit orbiting planets etc can be best explained with the help of classical mechanics based on newton's law of motion however it fails to explain the motion of microscopic objects like electrons atoms molecules etc this is because classical mechanics ignores dual behavior of matter which we have studied last day okay and the uncertainty principle the branch of science that takes into account this dual behavior of matter is called quantum mechanics okay quantum mechanics now let's look at the important features of quantum mechanical model quantum mechanical model of an atom describes the structure of an atom with the help of schrodinger wave equation important feature of this model are the number one the energy of an electron in an atom is quantized and what quantized is uh, the mean and you know we have discussed that one in the earlier classes this means that the energy of an electron can have only certain specific values number 2 the existence of quantized electronic energy level is a consequence of the wave like properties of electrons the allowed values of capital e here obtained on solving the schrodinger wave equation indicates the different energy level of an electron number 3 both accurate position and the exact velocity of an electron in an atom cannot be determined simultaneously the trajectory of an electron can never be determined accurately therefore the probability of finding an electron at different points around the nucleus within the atom is considered in this model okay the wave function psi for an electron in an atom represent the atomic orbital of the electron the energy of an electron in each orbital is definite an orbital can contain a maximum of two electrons in case of a multi electron atom the electrons are filled in various orbitals in increasing order of energy but here i must say orbit and orbitals are different thing and here we will discuss in details about all those quantum numbers what are the quantum numbers these are the set of four numbers that provide complete information about any electron in an atom are known as quantum numbers so that means quantum numbers are generally four numbers and these are the principal quantum number n azimuthal quantum number small l magnetic quantum number m and the spin quantum number so the principal quantum number we have studied and that came from you know the bohr's theory and the azimuthal quantum number that actually came um, from the sommerfeld's uh, theory okay and up to this uh, we did and today we will know the magnetic quantum number and the spin quantum number and we also have to know how these four quantum numbers are related okay to each other principal quantum numbers principal quantum numbers and you know and we have studied principal quantum numbers this actually represents the specific paths around the nucleus in which electrons are revolving okay from bohr's postulate it is known that each electronic orbit surrounding the nucleus in an atom represent an energy level we got it that one so average energy of the electrons revolving in a particular orbit is fixed so these orbits are called principal energy level or principal quantum level okay depending on their distance from the nucleus these orbitals or principal energy levels are designated by the numbers 1 2 3 4 etc and these numbers are actually called principal quantum numbers okay so whenever the principal quantum number value is 1 that represent the the closest cell from the nucleus and that is k cell and then then l then m and then n and so on okay and if it is nucleus the closest cell l that one and for that one n value equals to 1 that is the principal quantum number 1 and for the second one that would be principal number uh, quantum number 2 principal quantum number 3 principal quantum number 
irreducible quantum number 5 and so on. Now we have to know the information obtained from the principal quantum number. Higher the values of n, the greater is the distance of the orbit from the nucleus and hence greater is the size of the orbit. Thus we can say and you know the first orbit is the smallest one and then and the size of the orbit increases. Higher the value of n that is the higher the value of, of principal quantum number greater will be the electronic energy associated with the orbit. Okay. Maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a principal quantum level and that one we have studied earlier is given by formula 2n square and that there is certain limitation of the 2n square formula and I hope you know these were there in the class 10 level. Okay, still I'll you just go through these points. The second one is azimuthal or subsidiary quantum number and that is to be represented by L and that has been suggested by the scientist Sommerfield. But how the concept of azimuthal or subsidiary quantum number came and that needs to be known, okay. And and here let's study. The spectrograph with high resolving power has revealed that each bright line in the spectrum of atomic hydrogen consists of some closely spaced final lines, okay. That means whenever the atomic spectra, atomic spectra is studied with high resolving power or spectrograph and then it has been found that the hydrogen spectrum is closely spaced final lines are there and and to discuss and to explain that one and it has been suggested that each orbit or energy level in an atom must be composed of subcells. Electrons occupying these subcells within the same cell exhibit slight difference in energy. In order to explain the formation of fine structure of spectral lines, the scientist Sommerfield proposed the existence of elliptical orbits besides both circular orbit. Okay, got. Okay, in order to specify the shape of the elliptical orbit, another supplementary quantum number is necessary and that is the azimuthal quantum number. Okay, so well, uh, the azimuthal quantum number, so initially it was given in the term of k as we studied last day and then it was replaced by small l. Okay, if the principal quantum number of any orbit be n, then the total number of subcells incorporated in that orbit will also be n. And we are familiar with that figure as we have studied that one last day. Okay. And you know for the principal quantum number n equals to 4, there can be 4 as a methyl quantum number and that would be 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 0. And there, you know, so 1 will be the circular and 3 elliptical orbit will be there. And the, for the fourth cell, that is the, you know, the principal quantum number whenever it is 4, the azimuthal quantum number is found to be 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 0. That is, for fourth cell, there can be four different subcell. Okay. Four different subcell. And those are designated as 4S, 4P, 4D and 4F. Okay. 4S, 4P. 4D and 4F. For the azimuthal quantum number uh, value L when it is 0 then the subcell obtained is said to be S and if value L equals to 1 then subcell would be P and if L equals to 2 the subcell is taken D and the, if L equals to 3 the subcell obtained it is to be F. Okay you have to remember that one. That is for value of L0, 1, 2, 3, the respective subcells are S, P, D, F. As per quantum mechanical calculation, angular momentum of a moving electron in an elliptical path is given by that one. Okay, that derivation is not there in our syllabus. You just have to remember that uh, statement. Okay, this is often called orbital angular momentum. The value of L, that is azimuthal quantum number, determines the shape of the path. So with the help of principal quantum number and the azimuthal quantum number, a precise idea about the size and the shape of the electronic path can be obtained. If N stands for principal quantum number of an electronic orbit, the values of L will be 
0 to n minus 1. It will start from 0, okay, with respect to the value of principal quantum number n. The azimuthal quantum number L may assume n number of different values, including 0. That means if n equals to 4, L should have value 0, 1, 2, 3. If n equals to 3, L should have value 0, 1, 2. If n equals to 2, L should have value 0 and 1. Okay. Now we shall try to understand the relation between principal quantum number and the azimuthal quantum number. Okay. For the very first cell, that is the K cell, the principal quantum number value n equals to 1. And then there will only be one subcell, and that is to be designated as 1s and their L equals to 0 because as we have studied here only that is the the value of azimuthal quantum number will start from 0 okay and for L cell when n equals to 2 L should have value 0 and 1 and for 0 subshell would be 2s for 1 it would be 2p for the third cell from the nucleus M cell that is principal quantum number value 3 and then L uh, should have value 0, 1, 2 and the subshell would be 3s, 3p and 3d and for the n cell when the principal quantum number value 4 so uh, you know the small l here that is the azimuthal quantum number value would be 0, 1, 2, 3 and they represent 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f subshell that means from the azimuthal quantum number we got the subshell concept subshells okay uh, and one point we must have to follow here that is the all those subcells uh, bearing different energy level and it has been found that the F subcell having maximum energy then D then P and then S okay and that has been written here only next we will study magnetic quantum number and how the magnetic quantum number came in the year of 1896 G-man observed that each fine line in the atomic spectra splits further into finer lines in presence of a highly powerful magnetic field that one and we have discussed a bit and which is said to be g man effect and just to explain the g man effect so the scientist g man suggested another quantum number and that is magnetic quantum number okay magnetic quantum number and magnetic quantum number signifies the orientation of the orbitals in space in which electron exists. Okay, and it will it will uh, suggest the orientation of the orbitals in space in which the electron exists. Okay, for each value of n, and we uh, have studied that what would be the value of l, and here we have to know for each value of l. And what would be the value of magnetic quantum number m? Okay, and as written here, look at uh, here for a certain value of l, m has a total 2l plus 1 different values, and that will start from minus l to plus l. And with an example, and I will make it clear to you. Okay, look at the chart here. Okay, say for the fourth cell from the nucleus. Okay, and it is said to be n cell k l m n and that for the fourth cell you know the principal quantum number value n equals to small uh, 4 okay and for 4 we have already got that you know azimuthal quantum number value will always start from 0 0 1 2 3 for 0 it would be 4s subcell 1 it would be 4p and for 2 it would be 4d and for it would be l equals to 3 it would be 4f subcell Okay, so L value from L value we are getting different subcell. Okay, in the certain in a certain cell, for each value of L, as we have just as uh, I have just said that there can have value two L plus one number of values starting from minus L to plus L, including zero. Say for L value equals to one, then magnetic quantum number value should be minus 1 0 plus 1 that is minus l to plus l including 0 if l value 0 then the magnetic quantum number value will have only 0 if l value 2 and you know it will start from minus 2 to plus 2 okay all the whole numbers including 0 okay and for if l equals to 3 that is magnetic quantum number will have value 
plus 3 to minus 3 including 0 okay so that means for each value of l the uh, magnetic one number value generally you know double plus 1 double plus 1 means and l value 2 so magnetic quantum number value there will be 5 values 2 into 2 plus 1 that's why it is written there 2l plus 1 number of values will be obtained okay for l equals to 3 so we are getting 7 magnetic quantum number values and that means 2l plus 1 okay and just to summarize that one if l value 0 that is a subcell value of m would be 0 and total number of values of m that is 2l plus 1 number that would be 1 and that is s orbital so name and the number of the orbitals okay so generally for each magnetic quantum number value there will be so that number of orbital if magnetic quantum number is 4 there will be 4 orbital if magnetic quantum number are 5 then there will be 5 orbital okay for l equals to 1 it represent p subcell p subset a and you know l if, if l equals to 1 m should start from minus l to plus l including 0 and that is total number of magnetic quantum number values would be 3 okay and generally that represent in you know, l1 that is p orbital p orbitals and how many orbitals will be there three orbitals and that is the each magnetic quantum number value represents one orbital and for the d subcell for the d subcell you know that is l equals to 2 m should have value minus 2 to plus 2 there will be 5 total number of values and that represent d orbital and d orbital having uh, 5 different d orbitals and for l equals to 3 similarly we will get 7 different orbitals okay the fourth quantum number is spin quantum number and that generally represent the the spinning of the electrons okay so the Wollenbeck and the Goldsmith introduce a fourth quantum number and that is called spin quantum number. This is because the other three quantum numbers were not able to give sufficient explanation to the, the hyperfine structure of the atomic spectra. Just like the earth and electron while moving around the nucleus also spins about its own axis either in clockwise or in anticlockwise as it is shown here. Each type of spin can give rise to characteristic spectral lines with the formation of hyperfine spectrum in the spectral lines. Okay. The spin quantum number denoted by the symbol S expresses two opposite types of spinning motion of each electron. And the spin quantum number S can have only two values plus half and minus half. Plus half and minus half. The angular momentum associated with the spinning electron is given by the mathematical explanation. No derivation is there. You just have to memorize that one. Okay. The angular momentum associated with the spinning electron. That would be root over S into S plus 1 H by 2 phi. Now we will summarize the significance of the all the quantum numbers. Okay. We will try to summarize significance of all the quantum numbers here at a place now let's go through the significance of the quantum number the four quantum numbers are their principal azimuthal or subsidiary magnetic and spin and how they are related generally principal quantum number value one two three like this and it is independent from the uh, other three okay and azimuthal or subsidiary quantum number values depending on principal quantum number and and you know the azimuthal and subsidiary quantum number values start from 0 0 to n minus 1 okay and magnetic quantum number value also depending on that one that is azimuthal or subsidiary quantum number and that is minus l to plus l and for the spin quantum number only two values are there plus half and minus half okay and the principal quantum number indicates and what does they indicate okay look at here For principal quantum number, okay, the location of the uh, orbit in which the electron revolves that can be known, the size of the orbit, okay, the maximum number of accommodation of electron, 
using the equations obtained okay on the basis of Bohr's theory it is possible to know the velocity and the energy of the electron and the second one and we are uh, getting the information about subcell that is SPDF and which the electron is present okay and then we also uh, can say the shape of the subcell be it circular or elliptical the number of the orbitals can also be known from here and their angular momentum and the from the third one magnetic quantum number it indicates the orientation of the orbital in space okay and the fourth one you know uh, that it indicates that is the spin of the electron the angular momentum and the associated with the spinning electron and that's value is found to be that one and it gives rise here uh, gives us some idea about the magnetic field generated due to spinning of electron about its own axis